the last 30 years, the trend in surgery is downsizing, taking big operations and making them smaller. And now more surgeries are being performed by doctors using robotic techniques. The first thing is you get the three-dimensional vision. I think that's a great tool to have, and so you got a very good depth perception. Plus the other thing, you're, um, when you're working with your hands, it's more intuitive. So the robot is very precise. Rather than being beside the patient, the surgeon stands at a console in the room and controls the instruments while the robot matches their hand movements. The benefit being the robot has extra arms, expert eyes, and can move like no human can. In recent years, robotic-assisted surgeries have expanded to include a wide body of procedures, including cardiac, gynecologic, prostate, and now more colorectal surgeries. The common benefit? They're less invasive to the patient. It does save uh, people in terms of time off of work, in smaller incisions. Uh, they use less uh, pain medication in the hospital and they tend to leave the hospital earlier. In each case, doctors are best positioned to determine if and when the technique is suitable. In colon surgery, the robot is well suited for lower rectal procedures, which focus on a limited space. So you bring the robot in, you park it, and you just start dissecting down in the pelvis. Robot is very good for tiny places such as like that, uh, the pelvis. That's why it's good for prostate surgery also. The prospect of a less traumatic operation has more people relying on robots for their surgery. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.